Oprah, baby. I ain't get no damn BBL. And now, I, it's a lot of shit. I'll let y'all have it with the, she got a nose job. She da 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 B, But the BBL, don't put that on me. Don't put that on me. Don't, not even a nose job. Don't put the fucking nose job on me either. Because, bitch, if, when I pop out with a new nose, y'all gonna see it. Y'all gonna know. No, I didn't get a nose job. I had to take my belly button ring out because it was rejecting. Yes, I got ass shots. That. Yes, <laughs> like that's not a secret. I love Coda Skin. I'm here for it. I love it. No, no BBL, no nose job. Any more surgical procedures I want done? No. No. Um, I have had all of the procedures I wanted, which was mainly my eye procedure, my eye lift was super duper important to me. It's something I've been wanting to do. I just never did it because I was scared. So the fact that I finally had grew the balls to do it and got it done, I love my results. I no longer have a droopy eyelid. My eyes are lifted. I don't gotta keep wearing my eye drops. And um, I really, really like that I got that surgery. But y'all couldn't even tell that I needed the surgery because I used to wear eye, sh eye drops every fucking day or anytime I was like out, I would wear the eye drops so you wouldn't even be able to tell I needed the eyelid lift. But other than that, in my breast augmentation, that's all I have went under for. No lipo. No. Um, you see your results with shots as soon as you get up. <laughs> cool scalp. did make my hips hip after I had him but if I didn't have my shots I would probably be like petite I've always had like a little booty though like before I got my shots I had like a little butt like my school uniform at school they used to call me bubble butt um, they told me bubble butt in school cuz my butt used to be poking out in my khaki my khaki pants but I never had hips. Like I had bad hip hip dips. That. Um. So I got those touched up, you know. But I don't know. I can't say how I stay small because I think I'm just naturally a petite girl. Like y'all see up top, I'm really bony, really skinny. So yeah. We just shouldn't honestly talk about the shots because they're actually very illegal and it's just something we shouldn't talk about <laughs> the 
They're very permanent. They're not going nowhere. But I do feel like over time, your your natural fat kind of like overpowers. Cause the more weight I gain, I ain't gonna lie. The the more it just looks more natural. I don't know. I do not want my teeth done. I had my teeth done. I looked a fucking mess. Do I regret it? Hell fucking no. Do y'all know how much money them shots made me? <laughs> oh my God. Everything I've ever done paid the fuck off, okay? I made all my money back for anything I've ever done. Duh. <laughs> yeah, I got my teeth undone. So what I did, I had veneers over my real teeth. My teeth already big as hell. So I just had them take it off and got my real teeth back. Yes, y'all crazy as hell. So I purchased property already. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what them people talk about. Everybody is different, though. I always remember that. If you see somebody doing something, using a product, um, trying a restaurant, just remember that worked for them. That person like that. That's the thing with social media. Like Everybody quick to run and do something because they see somebody else doing it. And then when it don't work out for them... They want to get mad and bash the company, bash the pe the person. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, you can't really. That's why every time, even when I post ads and me promoting products, I always say it works for me because I'm not saying it's going to work for you. All I could do is just tell you what I like, my experiences, and the rest is on you. Um, I haven't had problems with mine but I know people who have had issues yeah my hair is growing y'all remember for the BET awards my shit was short as fuck yes my moles just grow day by day I'm getting old as fuck yeah so always remember what works for me might not work for you that's why a lot of things i don't even like talking about or promoting because if it goes wrong then you're looking at me like i'm the problem no that's why even before i try a product or post a product on my page i like to try it i like to make sure it works before i actually stamp it you get what i'm saying um because at the end of the day i'm a real ass bitch and i don't want to steer y'all in the wrong direction so a lot of things I'm not going to talk about and or promote to y'all because I know y'all are going to run and do it or try to do it or take my advice and say, OK, well, it worked for her. It's going to work for me. And what if it don't work for you? What if something goes bad? So always keep that in mind, not even with just me, any of your favorite influencers. I decline a lot of promo. Um, I'm not promoting a lot of stuff because I don't. 100% stand behind the product like it's a lot of stuff that I turn down on a daily and people be wanting to pay me my rate plus more because we really need her post really bad and I don't I can't do it because sometimes it's not always about the money for me a majority of the time it's not about the money But I must say the products, every product you see on my page right now, I genuinely fuck with those products. Like, no bullshit. Excuse me.
what's your net worth? Whatever Google is saying is not the truth. I can tell you that much. No, I don't have makeup on. It's so quiet in my house because Loyal is not here. <laughs> yeah, I can't even read y'all damn comments. Um, <sighs> do you make, hold on, wait, I wanna answer this question. Damn, where the fuck is it? Ask that question again about an NDA. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that's some bullshit. I could tell you that much. Hold on, wait. What? Somebody just asked something about an NDA. Can you please ask it again? Because I would love to answer that while we're here talking. Um... Damn. Hold on, wait. It say, do you make men sign NDAs when you link them? Hell nah. That's, I ain't gonna lie. Niggas don't talk. It's the, the hoes that do the talking. <laughs> you never gonna hear my tea in the streets. <laughs> so yeah, no. Guys don't talk. You, If you dealing with a guy that's in the industry, you ain't got to worry about them telling your business. Now, the girls in the industry, oh, please, they can't wait to tell your business. They can't wait to say, take a picture. They can't wait to say, I was just with so-and-so and so. But niggas ain't really too tough doing that, especially, especially when, yeah. Girls just be doing too much. Guys don't talk. Like, it's a lot of guys I'm cool with, and people would never know I'm cool with them. And that's how it's supposed to fucking be. A nigga cool with a girl? Oh, police. Police. She's telling the whole world she can't wait. But, like, me, I'm P. Real P. Like, I got a lot of guy friends. And. You just got to know who you're dealing with. Because a lot of these niggas are very, very, very lame. But I'm not even going to put myself in a situation with no lame-ass nigga who I know. Like, you done expose so-and-so and so. Yeah, I ain't even going to kick it with you. You can't even come in the section. But that's just the industry we're in, you know? People that do anything to make it to the top. Like when it comes to, um, ooh, my foot is asleep. Are you gonna have a hose mat shirt? They're so cute. I don't have a cold. Do it sound like I have a cold? Cause somebody else said that it sound like I'm sick and I'm not sick. You grew on me. What you didn't like me before? You ain't like me? Why you ain't like me? Like I always be wanting to know people honest opinions. Like what? Because for me, I don't know what it is. I'm never going to dislike a person until I physically meet them myself and I see for myself how they were. So, like, for instance, if I hear something about somebody and when I finally meet that person and they're nice to me, whatever I heard kind of just goes all the way out the door. Because I'm like, shit, she was cool to me. But, like, say, for instance, if somebody say... Yeah, that bitch Jada got a nasty ass attitude. I don't fuck with her. She nasty to everybody. And then I actually meet 
the person and they like and i'm like oh this bitch she wasn't mean to me it's like fuck what she was talking about so before i even have biased opinions about celebrities because i meet a lot of people my lashes are a mess they're they're horrendous but um i meet a lot of famous people a lot and i'm like damn i wish i would have kept just scrolling on your page and liking your pictures i hate what i saw in person <laughs> like ah so many fucking people i wish i would have kept them on the ground like i wish i would have never encountered them so i just be wanting to know like how people well people tell me but from a viewer's perspective like people who like see me out at target and people who see me in the mall and stuff like that um it's just like damn what do you think about me <laughs> you know how 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 are they sending me money how does this work my grandma is um mexican at first i didn't you came off strong and the crazy thing is i don't even be like Oh no, I can't. I, my personality is very strong, but as far as, um, as far as like bragging and shit, like I don't do that type of stuff. You give low key mean girl vibes. Damn. Well, I'm not a mean girl. I was always the friend in school that was cool with everybody. I was always the girl at school that, like, I don't know. I, I don't. If you grew up with me, you kind of know mean is kind of a bit much. I'm not mean, but like if I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. If that makes sense. Like, and then a lot of times people might think I'm blunt, but I'm only blunt when it comes to like my business. Um, when it comes to my money, like yeah, I might come off as a bitch in like certain meetings and stuff because like I don't play about my business. I don't play about um my money i don't play about like shit that actually matters but other than that i'm so fucking chill i don't give a fuck about nothing it's a lot of things i don't care about like and i can sit here and say this and y'all like this bitch lying but like it takes a lot for me to care like sometimes i might even sit back and let you win win an argument because i'm like bitch i'm not about to argue with you i don't care enough like it takes a lot for me to care but mean girl is crazy. And I don't judge a book until I meet somebody. I'm not going off of what somebody else say and saying, oh, well then, yeah, I don't like that bitch because so-and-so said this. Like, hell no. Nah. Not even with my own friends. If my friend don't like somebody, okay, I take that back. Fuck that. My friend don't like somebody, I don't fucking like you either. All right? That might be childish of me but if my friends don't fuck with you i'm instantly not fucking with you it's been plenty of people that um my sister didn't fuck with like when we was growing up in school and, sh and stuff and i just don't fuck with you like they are trying to come and be cool with me because they know my sister beef with them and it's like girl fuck you <laughs> i would never and i'm like that still to this day like with my sister her friends with my friends just anybody even if i'm fucking with a nigga he don't fuck with somebody i'm not fucking with you I don't care. Call me childish. I guess I'm childish, but it's no beef. I'm just not fucking with you. Um, another scenario is, damn, I'm trying to read y'all comments. They just coming so fast. Um, damn, I was about to say something it was getting good because I was just going to keep flowing and letting the conversation just flow. But... I'm a Libra. <sighs> Damn, I was about to say something, y'all. How do, how do you slow the comments down? I'm a first time mom. How did you get through postpartum? I honestly didn't start feeling like myself again until after Loyal's first birthday party. Um, a lot of people don't realize 
that they're going through postpartum because they're so caught up in the baby. And I had to realize one day I was just driving home, me and Loyal, and I was just boohoo crying. Like, y'all, like, legit tears. And I'm like, I don't even know why I'm mad. Like, I don't even know why I'm mad, sad. I don't even know why I'm crying. I'm like, oh, my God. I started, I went home, put Loyal in the bath, gave, put him in the bed, and I just stayed up on Google for, like, the whole night. And I was just Googling, like, postpartum, how to get rid of it, how to just all the symptoms and I'm like oh my god I might really be going through postpartum and a lot of black people we don't talk about it but like that shit is real it's very real um and that's why now like my friends who have babies I try to be as supportive as possible because that shit is real and it even used to be times I would just like but I never got postpartum to the fact I wanted to hurt my child but I used to think about like hurting myself it was very, very bad. I just prayed through it, um, try to keep myself busy. I started taking back hostings. I started trying to like get back into my normal routine, getting my hair done. Um, just giving myself time because I was too busy like putting all my energy into loyal. I didn't want no help with the baby. I was so mean to everybody around me. Oh my God, I'm gonna fucking cry talking about this. Hold on, y'all. Oh, my God. I'm literally going to cry talking about this. But um, it just was a really, like, ugh. If you're going through postpartum, just pray. Get back to yourself. I'm not crying on live. I don't care how hard life get. I'm never going to cry on live. But just try to get back to yourself. Take time for yourself and ask for help. Ask for help. Help is what you need. Being around family and friends is what you need. If you don't have family and friends, make some time for yourself. And, um, yeah. No, seriously, I would have definitely cried. It was bad. It was really bad. All right, let's talk about something else. Let's let's talk about something else. Because, whew. And that's why I ain't having no more kids. I would love to have more kids, y'all. Do y'all not know how much fun me and Loyal have? I feel like God gave me the perfect kid ever to the point I don't need no more freaking kids. Like, he is just everything in one. He is the sweetest, most humble three-year-old I've ever met. And I just, like, he is the best kid ever. I feel like that's such a blessing. But I don't want more kids because I know what I went through when I was pregnant. Like... I never want to go through that shit again. I don't care who it is. Six children, 13, 8, 7, twins, 2, and a 1-year-old. Woo! God bless you. But yeah, it's I'm not I when I say I don't want a kid and I'm real adamant about like no more kids, I'm saying that from just like not because loyal is bad or he just too much for me. No, I'm saying that because like the emotions and the feelings and the thoughts I had when I was pregnant, after I was pregnant, it's just, I don't know. I'm, I don't feel like I'm my best self when I'm pregnant and I looked gorgeous my whole pregnancy. Thank God. But mentally I was fucked. I was fucked. It can be very traumatic. And that's the, sh that's the thing a lot of people don't talk about. I guess because the minute you talk about it or the minute you say something in defense of, I would never do it again, they instantly think like, oh, she don't like her baby or she don't want her kids. So I guess that's why a lot of people kind of stay away from that topic because it is touchy. But please, I'm going to talk about it. Yes. All right, let's talk about something else. Yeah, let's not talk about nothing sad. Yes, or you're weak, period. Or you shouldn't have laid down and had the baby. Or, you know, that people always going to have something to say for real. That's why a lot of people don't share as much. Or a lot of people not sharing their most vulnerable times with the Internet. Because the Internet always got something to say. 
But everything I talk about, baby, I'm talking about for the real ones. And if you don't understand, why are you here? Yes, the next drop, I should be getting the samples any day now. Um, so I'm doing, um, I'm, well, let me not say I'm doing, I'm trying to figure out if I'm doing a pop-up shop for Black Friday or if I'm just going to do it online, but I really want to do a pop-up shop where you guys pull up on me and y'all can shop all the old collections, but in all black. So I'm excited about that. How do you see how many likes you got? Do both. Yeah, um, if you look up like moles on your hands and stuff, they all have like meanings. The show come on BET, um, BET Plus on Thursday mornings at three in the morning. Like, I still don't understand why three in the morning, especially like when I, it just don't make sense. But that's when it that's when it comes on. I got my my eyebrows microbladed a long time ago, but I have a, like a lot of hairs now because I have a scar right here. So that's mainly the reason why I got microblading. Hey Rob, thoughts on marriage? Um, I I don't know. I just feel like society, the dating world right now is just really fucked up. And I don't know if it's just because it's the industry that I'm in that I am just like marriage. Everything is just ill to me um I don't know I I I think I'm pretty much fucked because of the industry I'm in <laughs> but not I'm not against marriage but I just feel like what's the point these days I mean people just it's hard to commit like I don't know. I don't I don't know. Like it's disgusting out here. Yeah. So that's how I feel about marriage. <laughs> I don't really have nothing good to say. But I would be a cute ass bride, I know that much. Is my phone frozen because y'all's stuff not coming in no more? Hmm. Let me see. How the fuck do I?